Scalpel from 1977 is one of those deliciously dark 70s tales of excesses, violence, misogyny, greed and arrogance with a tinge of horror. It follows the story of Dr. Philip Reynolds, played brilliantly here by Hollywood star Robert Lansing, and also his brother Bradley, another powerful man, businessman in this scenario. Their father passes away, but the five million dollar inheritance from the estate doesn't go to his two sons, both of whom he despised for their arrogance, pomposity, and just the general way they live their life to excess. So instead, he leaves the multi-million dollar inheritance to Philip Reynolds' daughter, Heather, who mysteriously vanishes one evening. The two brothers celebrate the passing of their father and after the funeral go off to uh, a local pub and bar and drink the night away, celebrating in their own churlish, arrogant style the passing of their father, but also the loss of the five million dollar inheritance potentially. After drinking their woes away, the two go for a drive back home and almost run down a near naked and bloodied, beaten young woman who stumbles in front of them in the road. The two take her to hospital, but her face is beaten to near unrecognisable state and the woman has no form of idea upon her at all. Robert Lansing's character, Dr. Philip Reynolds, does not report to the authorities and tells the nurse to keep things quiet and just register as a Jane Doe. Dr. Reynolds then decides he can rebuild the face of this young woman with skin and bone grafts. But of course, he has an ulterior motive as well. He checks her out of the hospital as a Jane Doe and takes her to his own home to recover. But the recovering young woman has sensed something untoward about Dr. Reynolds. He shows the young woman pictures of his daughter Heather, missing now for a year, and tells her that as her body double, she has the type of eyes, hair and body build almost identical to his daughter Heather. Very similar indeed and that he can reconstruct her face to look just like her. He decides to confide in her about the estranged relationship with his daughter and that he intends to use her, if she's in agreement, to claim the five million dollar inheritance under this new woman posing as Heather in her name. The young woman agrees and of course the split is 50-50. He tutors her in the family ways and friends and moves emotions that Heather has about her with her mannerisms and knowledge down the years. But he also tells her to be vague and polite and not overly charming and friendly in presence of the family and friends. This then becomes a dark, deceptive and deranged slice of 70s thriller with a tinge of horror. And certainly as far as the young woman is concerned, this is not the same old Heather. Director John Grisma's scalpel is definitely a cut above typical 70s psychotronic horror cinema and as such is deserving of a 6.5 out of 10 viewing here. Regarding the story, only thing that cannot be replicated by the devious doctor with regard to his would-be patient 
and daughter Heather is as far as replicating Heather's professional taught capability as a pianist. At times the relationship also borders here of course on incestuous but it is seductively insidious throughout. Brother and Uncle Bradley suspect something underhand taking place and gets caught up in his brother's murderous debauchery. But of course there is a dark twist to proceedings come closure. There's also a deliciously dark delivery of humour here as well, such as when Bradley falls ill and Dr Bradley is asked about his, his well-being and he delivers a line that he was sat at a piano playing his heart out. The original look of the movie has a choice of viewing capabilities here on the, the Blu-ray disc itself. You get the original gothic look of the dark yellow hues which was originally intended by the director so that choice can be selected but also Arrow Video have cleaned up the original content of the film and you get the choice of watching it in a 70s style original view as well. Both are extremely well delivered but the personal preference here for this viewer is of the original intended shot movie with the gothic look by director John Grisma. The movie plays out and all is going well until after the funeral and the real Heather returns and the twisted tale then truly takes place. Arrow Video, once again, not only given us a great cleaned up print of this amazing 70s film, but also delivered in the special features section as well, which again, touched upon earlier, gives us the choice of two different ways in which to visually view this masterwork of the 70s scalpel. Both from the same newly restored materials, the director of photography Edward Leckman shot the film in southern gothic look with warm yellow and green tones. Leckman supervised and approved the grading for this particular release to Blu-ray. But also we get the arrow grade, more traditional look version of the film as well. Both highly watchable but the original intended gothic look by Lackman really does deliver on this particular film as far as this view is concerned. Both definitely look great in HD and arrow grade very much a 70s look and style but definitely underlining the Lackman gothic version as a more typically gothic as intended visual flair that would very well be and, and is intended to be seen uh, this viewer's preferred choice. In the special features as well we get the brand new interview with writer-director John Grisma filmed in December of 2017. There's also a brand new interview with main actress Judith Chapman which is also filmed in December of 2017 as well. And on top of that we also get another brand new interview with director of photography Edmund Edward Leckman himself which again was filmed in December of 2017. Obviously got them all together for Arrow Video shots at the same time during that month. Also here we get the image gallery and a trailer an audio commentary track selectable by Richard Harland Smith. All in all though this movie from director John Grisma, Scalpel from 1977, is most definitely worth getting all cut up about. Scalpel, Arrow Video, good stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.
Okay. 